I had the girls' dancing shoes, uh, for now at least. Wow. We, all, we have a special guest here, and you know and love her as a beautiful co-host of Access Hollywood. That's right, but our next guest is much more than that. She's a daughter, she's a mom, and is also a green activist. Yes, let's say good morning to who I love, and I told her that when she walked in, Nancy O'Dell. <laughs> you. How are you? Good dancers. Oh, is that what that is? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Than Sam, at least. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Of course, uh, watch you every evening on Access Hollywood. We do. Um, Thank you very much. Big fan of that. And we, we kind of just want to know how you are. You're a mom. You do everything. You work. You have the career. How is your baby girl, Ashby? Oh and how gosh. is it being a new mom? The best thing. I, I was uh oh, your mic's not working. Uh-oh. That's a bad thing. The <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I feel like I'm like addressing the yeah. exactly. you guys now. No, it's the best thing ever. I was telling it was so funny. I was back there. I go, I'm such a mom because I'm telling him the story this morning. I go, she's just now, you know, trying to walk. And so I'm like oh. holding her hands and I'm telling her, put one step in front you know, of the other, you know. And she like sticks her feet up like really high and I'm doing the typical mom stories, but I'm having the best time. And good is access a good schedule for being a mom? What do you guys shoot? Do you, are you there all day? Is it I'm still there early in the morning, which is really tough because when I leave early in the morning and she's like grabbing around my neck. I'm having a hard time leaving in the morning, but it's uh, actually a pretty decent schedule. Um, I'm there by about 8.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then um, we take the show, and if I don't have anything else to do, which is kind of rare, I'm done by 2, but that usually doesn't happen. We usually have a premiere or a junket or somewhere that I have to go or an interview you know, outside of access research or something that you're doing. Well, the one nice thing about our jobs is that we get access to a lot of information about things that some people don't know a lot mm -hmm. about. And we also get a forum to talk about things that are close to our hearts. You have a very special cause that's very close to your heart. Tell us about that and why you, you threw this event over the weekend. Well, May is actually ALS Awareness Month. And I have been working with partnership with uh, Pure Natural. And uh, this is before I actually knew that my mom was diagnosed with ALS, um, which is a very serious disease, and I'll describe a little bit to you about it. But I've um, been working with them because I'm really a big believer, especially becoming a mom and knowing, you know, you got this little fragile yeah. being that you're protecting and mm -hmm. taking care of, and you're thinking about her future. And yeah. there's so many things out there. That, well, first of all, you want them to have a good earth to live in right. when they grow up. Yes. And all of their products are like, you know, paraben free, and the, the packaging is recyclable. And that's why I really wanted to become a part in partnership with them. Little did I know that it would have such a personal effect a little bit later. Um, we we did this uh, Mother's Day dinner mm -hmm. over uh, the weekend, which was great, and just made people aware of how they can become eco-friendly and, you know, being a mom, and had a lot of my celebrity mm -hmm. mom friends that were there There's and, the party and right supporting. Now. Yeah, we had such a great time at the party. It was at my house, and the first big dinner party that I had at the yeah. house. And... Um, Mel B, Marley Matlin. That's right. We even had girl. Michael Johns, my favorite American Idol, Lisa, Lisa Renna, Harry Hamlin. My hubby's there to the right somewhere. <laughs> and the, and the everything that you used at the party was green. And was green. Green. Is, is that expensive for, I mean, because we want to give people suggestions with, yeah. you know, barbecues coming up. It's actually very, up. very easy. I mean, it's, um, it's, you know, all of the organic food that is out there is easy to find. You know, you just look for things that have been processed in a different way that, that aren't going to wash off into the mm -hmm. environment and, and that are going to be toxin-free, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the, we were talking about Pure Natural has been wonderful to me and made this wonderful donation in honor of my mom because they have linked now ALS to um, toxins in the environment, like yeah. the pesticides environment. So as to support the people like that, they made a wonderful donation to MDA, which has been wow. an organization mm -hmm. that has been there from the very beginning after my mom was diagnosed. And so it kind of all worked together because I had been working with a company. It, we wanted to talk about being eco-friendly, being a new mom, how important it is. Very, very important. And now with my mom coming down with uh, this disease, which uh, is affecting more and more people. They have found a lot of Gulf War veterans mm -hmm. have come down with it. There was an Italian soccer team, the majority of them came down with it, and there's um, three people within a two-mile radius of where my mom lives. See, and so, they find that a lot with a certain diseases where you can find a cluster, mm -hmm. and you wonder what it was in your mother's yeah. neighborhood that, that you brought You do wonder. Them. You know, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, and this is the thing about ALS, and why we want to raise awareness for it is because nobody really knows the exact cause. Mm -hmm. They know that there is a link to some environmental causes. Some of it can be hereditary, only like 5% yeah. of it is hereditary, familial ALS, as they call it. But they don't know exactly what it causes it, and so you have to raise awareness to, because it's one of those orphan diseases mm -hmm. that, you know, you want to raise awareness and funding. Well, we're and, really pleased that you actually would come and talk to us about something that is, you know, sort of a, a poorly kept secret, if you will, because it, it shouldn't be a secret at all. We want no. people to know more about it. Uh, if you'd like more information on these pure natural products, because Sharon and I and, and mm -hmm. Jessica always like to know where we're we can green. find them. Okay. Uh, more They're green. all green. They're all green. All and good green. for the environment, good for you. Even their packaging has like baby's breast seeds in it that you can That's plant sweet. it in right. your garden and babies that grow. So it's like not only recyclable, but it's like it's got the seeds inside Isn't that, that nice? sprout up and make it wonderful. And the ALS uh, website as well. Um, it, it's uh, 
www.als-mda.org. Mm -hmm. well, like lots of information to learn more ourselves. about it. Yeah. yeah, and we all we all should learn more about it. Yeah, and so we all should it. should support it as well because that's what people need. Please do. Yeah. My mom's a great great woman, so yeah, I sure would appreciate it. She raised it. a great daughter. Oh. <laughs> thank, you, thank, thank you for being here. Thanks and for take care of that little one of yours. I sure will. Bring her to visit next time. Okay. Guys, you asked me to do it, and I will. Oh, good, good. Ask me twice. You want pictures? You want to see pictures? Yes, we want to see pictures. We get them in the commercial break. All right. Thank you so much, Nancy. Nice to have you here. Coming.